Hey guys and welcome back to my lucky channel. In today's video, we'll have a look at the career and lifestyle of Vince McMahon, the chairman of the largest professional wrestling promotion in the world, WWE. If you guys are ready, let's get started. Well, look at you, you're standing here and my son-in-law is back in Connecticut suffering. Vince McMahon is an American professional wrestling promoter, commentator, film producer, and occasional wrestler was born Vincent Kennedy McMahon on August 24, 1945, in Pyrus, North Carolina, and is the third-generation wrestling promoter. McMahon is currently serving as the chairman and chief executive officer of WWE, the largest professional wrestling promotion in the world. He's also the founder and owner of Alpha Entertainment. McMahon is the eldest living member of the McMahon family and is a third-generation wrestling promoter, following his grandfather, Roderick James Jess McMahon, and father, Vincent James McMahon. His father left the family when Vince was a baby, and he did not meet his father until he was 12 years old. Vince's mother, Victoria, raised him alongside a string of stepfathers. McMahon had an older brother, Roderick James McMahon III, born in 1943 and died in 2021, who was not involved in the wrestling industry. McMahon overcame learning problems and dyslexia to graduate Fishburne Military School in 1964. He attended East Carolina University and graduated with a business degree in 1968. Vince and Linda McMahon were married on August 26, 1966 in North Carolina. They met in church as young teenagers. They have two children, Shane and Stephanie, both of whom have spent time in the WWF, WWE, both on screen and behind the scenes. McMahon has six grandchildren. McMahon began working for his father in 1971 when he was given the responsibility to promote a small wrestling show. He served as an in-ring announcer for All-Star Wrestling and became the go-to play-by-play commentator. He did well, assisting his father's company in tripling TV syndication, and over time, received a much more prominent role in the organization. When his father died in 1984, McMahon and his wife took control of the still modestly sized company. He recruited the half of Hulk Hogan to be the face of the company. Vince McMahon soon developed the rock and wrestling connection, a concept that brought pop stars into the storylines and gave professional wrestling a national and much broader audience. WrestleMania, the most successful professional wrestling event ever, and other clever promotions soon followed. McMahon helped make wrestling a household name by shaping the WWF into a unique brand of sports entertainment. Under his leadership, McMahon made World Wrestling Entertainment, formerly known as the World Wrestling Federation WWF, become the multi-billion dollar enterprises, a global leader in the entertainment business where its programs have reached over 800 million homes globally and in over 25 languages. The WWE Network today is available to more than 180 countries in the world. Outside of the wrestling, McMahon joined owned and operated the XFL, a football league twice. Both adorations folded after a single season with the second due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He also headed the short-lived World Bodybuilding Federation and co-owns the clothing brand Tap Out. McMahon also worked as a professional wrestler and personality known by the ring name Mr. McMahon, using a gimmick based on his real-life persona. He was a broadcaster, color commentator, and chief broadcaster until 1997, and is a two-time world champion, a Royal Rumble match winner, and has headlined multiple WWE pay-per-view events.
as of 2021, Vin McMahon's net worth is reportedly to be roughly $2.1 billion. Vinny's family lived in $40 million mansion in Greenwich, Connecticut, which is a roughly 30-minute drive from WWE's corporate headquarters. The enormous plot has a three-story mansion with nine bathrooms, a gym as well as a guest room. The entrance to McMahon's residence has a long driveway with trees flanked on either side with plenty of open spaces around the house. With a net worth of $2.1 billion, McMahon is easy to deliver his income to buy himself some fancy cards. His Bentley Continental GT maintains his classic, the slick look despite being the Super Sport Edition that runs at the same level as the race car. This is the car Vince McMahon uses most of the time, which came with a $200,000 price tag. Any billionaire's garage wouldn't be complete without a Lamborghini. This car further proves McMahon's love for speed, as the owner of a Lamborghini Aventador, known to be one of the fastest Lamborghinis. The speed demon is valued at a whopping $417,000. When McMahon wants to switch over to a more classic and business vehicle, you can choose to take a Mercedes-Benz SL600 out for a spin. The SL600 model is equipped with a twin-turbo V12 engine and with a top speed of 155 miles per hour. This 2007 model is valued at $130,000. McMahon has had a long-running feud with Stone Cold Steve Austin that started December 1997. It began when McMahon discussed on air the assaults Austin has allegedly waged against himself and other commentators. He said that he was sick and tired of seeing Austin as a WWF champion. Afterwards, Austin drove a Zamboni into the WWF arena and attacked McMahon. He was arrested shortly after. Vince also started a highly publicized feud with Donald Trump in January 2007. After Trump threatened to find McMahon himself, they eventually came to a deal that they both pick a representative to wrestle on their behalf. McMahon's wrestler lost to find. Maybe you already know that Vince McMahon is the beast when it comes to working out. A 75 years old is unbelievable getting in that kind of shape. In April 2020, WWE superstar Sheamus told that he considers Vince McMahon to be his dream workout buddy, saying he's insane in gym, he trains sometimes at 2 o'clock in the morning. How do you think about him? Share with us in the comment section below and don't forget to hit subscribe for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.